I do kind of feel sorry for um, Goodman because this is a, it's a one strange fix if I've ever seen one. It's kind of looks pretty pretty desperate, but at least they're doing something. All right, welcome back. So then I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, a modification kit uh, for these Goodman 90% furnace. Um, this was due to a recall issue that was had. Uh, in the Goodman furnace uh, due to fire hazards. So what we're gonna do is install a pressure switch here and a PCB board um, in the blower housing and the squirrel cage. And this is supposed to help prevent uh, those types of issues from occurring. Ah, oh, man. So, we've got here, let's see. Well, first, cut the power. Let's see here. Boink. It's most important. quick, uh, pretty simple little modification. Usually take about 10, 20, uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes to do. Just gonna go ahead and take off this. That's your condensate trap here. So you got your needle nose. Pop those off like such. And that'll just pull right off. <clears throat> this one here. Okay. So I'll put this off to the side now. Get out of the way. For this blower motor, we're gonna need to clear as much clearance as possible. We got the screws, we got screws out for the blower motor, so slide her out. Make sure you take these uh, spade connectors out, <clears throat> and they'll slide out pretty freely. Just want to get, oh yeah, as well as this wire uh, harness. Don't cut your wires. Had to give us a much enough slack. So literally, check this out. Put that above it, like such. Make sure you have enough slack on everything. Thermostat wire. I hate that people make thermostat wire so short. Give us a little bit of slack, you know. Okay. So now I'm trying to do. Give you a little template here, blower housing flange side. You simply want to line up this top line with the top of the blower, and <clears throat> like such. You got about three fingers width. Right there. Because center. Okay, we got our mark. See those burrs off the inside. Yeah, this is where it gets strange. We've got a kit here. 
the pressure switch kit. So a couple screws, this piece of copper, and a rubber seal. See there? That seal will go right in this hole. It's a 3 8 hole that I drilled there. And that piece of copper goes in like such. Now you want to take this hose, install it in the copper fitting. And install your pressure switch. I do kind of feel sorry for um, Goodman because this is a, it's a one strange fix if I've ever seen one. It's kind of looks pretty pretty desperate, but at least they're doing something. Because um, you know, it's a whole lot better than having to replace however many thousands of furnaces out there with the same issue. So now we've got our conversion harness here. Just gonna tie in there like such. Screw your pressure switch. That's gonna wrap around the front. So we're ready to put this back in here now, the blower. So let's go ahead and put that back. back up here. Okay. Now we've got a another PCB board here that we're going to mount right next to this board, but we want to make sure that this um is up close enough to where I can route the neutral wire from this blower motor up through here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll give you three screws, some long screws too. Also, this isn't DIY. This is something you want to it's free service because it's covered under warranty, so you want to call, if you are a homeowner, just call your, um, you know, a professional, certified um, tech to get this taken care of. Because if, you know if you don't know what you're doing, it could be, you know, quite dangerous. You got a high voltage capacitor here. You got, you know, high voltage 120 coming in. So it's one of those things you want to just have someone take care of it who knows exactly what they're doing all right this is more for the new techs out there you know people that have not seen this or heard of it <clears throat> okay So we got it back mounted up in there. Harness can wrap around. So we're gonna find our neutral from our blower. Trace it back. Here it is. See? Let's go up through here. And we're gonna drop it back on the tap. Alright. Now that'll go here. Now we're gonna take the old 12 pin harness the original we're going to bring this into the new harness plug the new harness into the board 12 pin this can go here perfect last but not least let's drop our two pin connector back in here okay so yeah gang, that's pretty much um that's pretty much it. So yeah, just let me know what you think. 
and let me know if you've um, come across any of these here these recalls or if you've heard of it yeah, other than that uh, we'll see you on the next one it's a quick one for today yeah appreciate you watching as usual and we'll catch you on the next one all right bye